Hello everyone, in this session we are going to uh, discuss about top key differences between private equity funds and hedge funds because see um, in an in interview process also sometime you know uh, often we ask about uh, you know what are the key differences between uh, hedge fund and private equity or who is more powerful or how is the structure and all so let's discuss about that because I would like to uh, brief about key differences of hedge fund and private equity. All right. So let's go ahead. See the objective of this small session is we just want to uh, discuss about as I said the purpose of uh, this fund and their structures, horizon capital, you know, structure, fee structure means how is the fee structure that would be in private equity or again in hedge funds we'll discuss that and of course the target audiences would be for you know the different different funds and all so let's go ahead i i hope you would enjoy this small session all right i'm not going to write anything on board so don't worry about it because in uh, uh, you know it right so every time we write lots of things on board but this time we have a ppt so you can read it here only all right so if we talk about guys see the first key difference between hedge fund and private equity if we talk about investment time horizon first let's let's talk about hedge fund see hedge funds typically have a short term investments horizon ranging from second to of you know a few years right so uh, uh, from a second to to uh, from second to few years it means see the uh, investments of you know um, the hedge fund should be in liquid assets it could be equity bonds debentures or even you know the derivatives instruments and all because fund managers they can quickly buy it and even sell it out so that's what you can say like that that uh, the duration would be from zero to uh, sorry uh, the you know the very second moment to few years in that way you can you know understand it and uh, see and the another reason is most of the traders like highly professional traders they have incorporated their funds if i talk about renaissance or bridgewaters they are like uh, hedge fund you know traders and they have formed their uh, businesses also like you know the fund management businesses and now they have started raising funds and all all right so their objective is to quick you know the generate quick returns by investing in liquid assets and generate more and more profit but on other hand if we talk about private equity funds Private equity funds have a long-term investment horizon, typically ranging from five to seven years, and their goal is to achieve significant return by acquiring companies or through different, you know, the uh, strategies. Like you can say, uh, you know, they'll directly buy your business, right? Through leveraging and all, maybe through uh, you can say like LBO, MBO models or. Um, directly you know to buy a large portion of equity in the business so that's how private equity funds works and in a private equity funds you cannot quickly execute trades so it means most of the investment should be in an illiquid assets all right in an illiquid asset so don't forget this one so this was the first key difference i hope you got the difference between uh, you know the hedge fund and private equity so the next one is in terms of capital investments see in a hedge funds typically require one time capital commitment from investors and that they directly raise through subscription letter as per you know the predefined ppm private placement memorandum or pre offering memorandum also that you can call but if i talk about private equity private equity funds on the other hand require investors to commit capital upfront so it means the first they sign commitment and but the funds are called over time as investments are made so it means through capital calls investors can contribute capital to the funds and funds will deploy into the different you know the financial instruments right and here if you see the duration would be somewhere three to five years or maybe up to ten years all right and even private equity uh, funds they you know, they penalize to the uh, you know investors if they fail to manage the capital calls and all so this is how you can again relate the another uh, the difference is like capital investments all right 
So the next one is legal structures. In terms of legal structures, most of the hedge funds, they are open-ended, but that doesn't mean they are not uh, you know, close-ended. You can see close-ended hedge funds also, but most of the it means we are talking about at a larger scale. So most of the hedge funds, they are, uh, you know, the uh, open-ended funds. So it means investors, they can continuously in and in, all right. But if I talk about private equity funds, private equity funds, most of the funds by nature, they are like, you know, close end funds. They'll, you know, announce the schemes for a two months duration. After that, you know, scheme will close. Maybe they can open another series or scheme, but that first one, it will closed for one year, two year, three years, four years. So that's how it works. All right. So it means most of the funds that you can say, they are close ends in a private equity funds. Now your question would be like, sir, why the reason is, see, if, if you are uh, investing in illiquid assets, so that doesn't make any sense to announce, you know, the open-ended scheme, all right? Then fee structure and compensation. The another difference is fees, structure and compensation. As you know that, see, here in this case, I don't see much difference in fee structure of hedge funds. See, in a hedge funds, basically we charge 2%, which is management fees and another one which is 20 percent as incentive fees that we charge it right incentive fees basically uh, which is something you know the on a profit directly the investors they share the 20 percent as a performance bonus to the fund managers or maybe general partners but uh, in a private equity so if you see here two percent uh, fees which is management fees paid on uh, in a committed capital. If the committed capital is, is, you know, let's say 1 million, then on 1 million you can charge 2%. And the other one is 20% directly the fund manager, uh, you know, uh, the fund managers, the charge as a, a split or carry, I would say, as a 20%. It is, which is equivalent to the performance fees, I would say, but that works in a very different way in a private equity funds because in a private equity funds they calculate distributions they return the you know preferred return or uh, capital committed and all and then only they charge their basically 20 percent as a carry or a profit percentage all right this was the another big difference and here in terms of level of risk hedge funds generally have a higher risk profile due to their aggressive investment strategies such as leverage derivatives short selling that all comes under the high risk so it means hedge funds are risky one and if i talk about private equity so private equity funds on the other hand generally have a lower risk profile if you compare with the hedge funds the reason is most of the investments should be in illiquid assets but guys on, on a technical note if you see most of the private equity funds are also they are like very risky because if they invest into startups then that becomes more and more risky all right then in terms of taxes hedge funds require the filing of schedule k1 for each investor reporting which includes income losses and dividends or uh, interest payments and all if they you know the hedge funds if they have received so they'll update it in k1 form and you know file the taxes all right and if i talk about private equity funds see uh, here also you can see like similarity between hedge funds and private equity both file or require schedule k1 form but this is for a U us market but for other markets you may see different different forms all right however private equity funds typically benefits from long term capital gain tax rates due to extended holding period for investments see guys apart from this if i talk about tax haven countries like cayman island then uh, you know the most of the uh, the cayman side or british Virgin Island or there are, you know, the UK side, uh, you know, the countries, they offer huge tax exemption or tax benefits to the funds. So where you don't need to even file taxes as well. So you might see that also. All right. But in US, you can see K1 form and tax filing. But yes, funds file taxes as well. So in next session, I'll also show, uh, show you how, you know, that tax uh, form looks like. Don't worry about it. All right. And let's conclude now. In a conclusion, if we talk about hedge fund, hedge funds are characterized by short term, high risk investments and flexible liquidity, making them a suitable choice for those seeking quick returns. And if I talk about private equity, private equity on the other hand, involves long term investments with a focus on enhancing company performance 
and achieving substantial returns through strategic management and operational improvement all right so most of the private equity funds they target even public limited companies or debt burden companies or companies which are at a very growing stage so they infuse more capital and uh, multiply their wealth so that's how they invest but anyways if you like this session please click on bell icon button and also update your feedback or comment as well all right so we'll see you in another session on different topic and if you have any suggestions or topic please provide your uh, provide your suggestions in comments definitely we'll pick up that and record that session for you so thank you thank you very much for watching this we'll see you in next session thank you